This country is expected to receive a significant investment from BPTT in the coming year. At a press conference held earlier today, President David Campbell explains. And to give you uh, an indication of the importance of Trinidad and Tobago to BP, consider this. We've invested about $3.4 billion US in TNT between 2018 and 2022, so just over the last four years. And we expect to invest about another $800 million this coming year. Mr. Campbell also outlined other plans for 2023. We're going to progress that SIP project, as I mentioned. This will move into what we call execute stage, so actually building it. And it'll include seven wells with subsea trees. This is the new technology I think you're going to see more and more of in Trinidad and Tobago. Uh, and it'll be tie tied back into our existing Juniper facility uh, via two 14 kilometer flexible flow lines. Drilling is due to commence. 2023 and the first gas from that facility for SIP will be expected in 2025. BPTT is also expected to complete drilling on its existing small pools program and is also evaluating opportunities to add additional drilling prospects to the program. And the CAF Development Bank of Latin America has offered to donate almost 1.4 million TT dollars to assist in this country's flood relief efforts. CAF has also indicated its readiness to offer financing for reconstruction of damaged infrastructure, a statement from the Ministry of Finance says. On Thursday, government agreed to make available $50 million for flood relief to affected families and citizens. In other business news, the TNT Manufacturers Association is calling on government to act swiftly to rectify inefficiencies in the country's ports. The organization says it is alarmed by reports from a joint select committee in parliament that some 19,000 containers entered TNT recently without being properly scanned due to limited operations of scanners. TDMA's president, Tricia Gusal, says, The reports of these scanners not working are concerning and its negative impact on the ease of doing business cannot be denied. There's also the challenge of many illegal items finding their way into the country and into the hands of unscrupulous persons. Importantly as well is the government not getting their due revenues based on the evasion of proper custom duties to be applied on goods. Ms. Gusal further warns that this can negatively impact the ease of doing business as well as the possibility of more illegal items entering the country. Geisha Kaules Alonso, CNC3 Business Watch.